good evening to you. So what I came to talk about is Lord, send the rain. It's funny for the prayer, you know, and that. But Lord, send the rain. Lord, send the rain. So I was <clears throat> sitting here, and it's been looking like it was going to rain. And lately, I can hear the thunder, but it doesn't always rain hearing the thunder. And I, I know that's God talking. I, I, I know, I know that's God. I love him, right? And so, <clears throat> it was just looking very cloudy, like it was going to rain. So, I'm like, okay, Lord, send the rain. Okay, Lord, send the rain. Oh, that's what speak life, send the rain. So, send the rain, Lord. And so, then I'm like, okay, wait a minute. <clears throat> what does that, sorry, y'all. I don't know. Yes, I do. I already, always know when there's a soul involved with speak life. I always know because there's something. Oh, when God about to show up and show out, there's always some type of something trying to interfere, even though I prayed before this thing. So, anyway, I was like, God, send the rain. Send the rain. And I was thinking about, okay, so, send the rain. I mean, what is that for speak life? So send the rain. So I asked the Lord to lead me in this. Send the rain. But the main thing that comes to me is Elisha. Elisha and his powerful self. Okay? So, you know, there are Elijah's. Powerful, powerful Elijah's still in the earth because God is the same. The thing is, we don't uh, believe that we, because it's not us. The power comes through us. So if only we believe that we have that power. Because Elisha, Elijah, and Elisha were truly powerful men of God. Like God listened to both of them because Elisha he would pray we talked about this we, he would pray and it God would so I've learned to pray the prayer of Elisha and to pray as Elisha prayed so Elijah his his prayer life was manifested also in miracles and signs and wonders. And this is one of them. Um, it says here in 1 Kings, I need to start in 1 Kings 17. I know this is for somebody because the washing machine just started acting up as soon as, listen, peace be still. So in the, in, in the uh, 1 Kings 17, verse 1, and Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, okay, said unto Ahab. Now Ahab, we don't. If, for those that don't know who Ahab is, he was an evil king. Ahab cut it short. He was an evil king. He 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 was the husband, or is was the husband of Jezebel, okay. So it says, said unto Ahab. As the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. That's what I just noticed that. He said, according, he, I, you know, not according to the Lord's word, but the according to my word. Uh -huh. Whoa, that's authority. Okay. What? Okay. Uh, what? According to... According to... My word. Wow. That is... He, he knew... He knew the heart of God, but he knew God. My, my, my. It says... And... Second Chronicles 2020, hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. So shall you be established 
uh, believe it's proper. No, but it's one that says, okay, Jeremiah 23, 16, thus says the Lord of hosts, hearken not into the words of, mm, no, that's not it. Um, he listens to his prophets because he told Moses, he told um, Aaron and Miriam that a prophet this that but Moses is not because he hears Moses like God is with the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail it much but God says I hear matter of fact I was just in the book of Psalm I hear um, it's his will it's his will uh-huh it's his will he says it in jeremiah call it to me and i will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not but it goes further than that and it shall come to pass isaiah 65 24 that before they call i will answer and while they are yet speaking i will hear so let's see what he says before that because yeah when it comes into these later chapters of Isaiah just powerful powerful um, it says um, verse 17 of Isaiah 65 for behold I create new heavens and a new earth and the former shall not be remembered see so when we are caught up in heaven I'm telling you we're not going to be we're not we're not going to remember okay so it says the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind but be you glad and rejoice forever in that which I create for behold I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy and I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice, the voice of weeping, nor the voice of crying. The voice. Crying has a voice. Weeping has a voice because they're spiritual beings. Okay, it says, there should be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that have not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old. But the sinner, being a hundred years old, shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them in the name of Jesus. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands, they shall not labor in vain nor bring forth for trouble for they are the seed of the blessed of the lord yes lord this i didn't know it was coming but i thank the lord it says in their offspring with them and it shall come to pass that before they call i will answer and while they are yet speaking i will hear the wolf and the lamb shall feed together and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock and dust shall be for the serpent's meat. That's right. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, says the Lord. Okay? Yes. In the name of Jesus. So, Elijah says, according to my word. I mean, I mean, well, talk about power. Okay? So, um... I wish I could go through a study of this, but I'm not going to do it. So it says, And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get you hence from here, and turn you eastward, and hide yourself by the brook of Cherith that is before Jordan. And it shall be that you shall drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you. He's still talking to Elisha. Okay, he says, so he went and did according to the word of the Lord for or because he went and dwelt by the brook of Cherith that is before Jordan. 
before he crossed the Jordan, my Lord. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and, the, and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Now you remember he said, and Elijah the Tish, Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab the king, As the Lord God of Israel is, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years. And so as he's being fed, because God has prepared, God has commanded the ravens, even a not so clean bird, to feed Elisha. Because according to his word his word so let's go to first kings 18 and it came to pass after many days that the word of the lord came to elijah in the third year saying it's been three years okay saying go show yourself unto ahab and i will send rain upon the earth and Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab, and there was a sore famine in Samaria. There was no rain. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly, for it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and hid them with bread and water. And Ahab said to Obadiah, Go into the land unto all fountains of water and unto all brooks. Preadventure we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts, because there's no rain. So they divided the land between them to pass throughout it. Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went another by himself. And Obadiah was in the way. Behold, Elijah met him. And he knew him and fell on his face and said, Are thou that my Lord Elisha? And he answered him, I am. Go tell your Lord, behold, Elijah is here. And he said, What have I what have I sinned that you would deliver your servant into the hand of Ahab to slay me? As the Lord thy God lives, there is no nation or king, uh, kingdom whither my Lord have not sent to seek you. And when they said he is not there, he took an oath of the kingdom and nation that they find found thee not. And now you say, go tell my Lord, behold, Elijah is here. And is it come to pass? And no, and it shall come to pass as soon as I am gone from you, that the spirit of the Lord shall carry you. He knew the Lord was with him. Um, carry you hither or from here, I know not. Or carry you where I know not. So when I come and tell Ahab, and he cannot find you, he shall slay me. But I, thy servant, fear the Lord from my youth. Was it not told, my Lord, what I did when Jezebel slew the prophets? He is pleading his case, okay? Slew the prophets of the Lord, how I hid a hundred men of the Lord's uh, prophets by fifties, fifty in a cave. And fed them with bread and water. And now you say, go tell thy Lord, behold, Elijah is here and he shall slay me. And Elijah said, as the Lord of hosts lives before whom I stand, I will surely show myself unto him today. So Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him, Ahab went to meet Elisha. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, are you he that troubles Israel? No, it's Ahab that troubles Israel. Okay. And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you and your father house in that you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord and you have followed Balaam, one of the enemy's names. Now, therefore, now, therefore, send and gather to me all of Israel and to Mark Carmel and the prophets of Baal, 450 and the prophets of the groves 400 which eat at Jezebel's table. Okay, so we're going to skip a little bit and 
Um, so we're going down to verse 41. And Elijah said to Ahab, get you up and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, go up now. There's a lot of nows, okay? Go up now, look toward the sea, and he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And he said, go again seven times. Now, seven, a lot of things when uh, people went to prophets or seven was the number. Seven could be a continuous number, but seven. But seven could be continuous, but seven also is a complete number. Okay, so it says complete number because after seven days, there's a new Okay, so it says, and it came to pass at the seventh time. It's just like Jericho, the seven, Nahum, the seven. There's different things that require seven, okay? It says, and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea. Okay, I'm getting, okay, out of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, go up. Saying to Ahab, prepare your chariots and get you down, that the rain stop you not. Lord, send the rain. Okay. And they came to pass in the meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. And Ahab rode and went to Je Jezebel, and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. He is a symbol, not only of a great prophet, but he's a symbol of one of the fastest men. He outran. Ahab. Mm -hmm. Ahab was writing. He says, um, go up and said to Ahab, prepare your chariot. Ahab was in the chariot. And Elijah outran that. There's so many different symbols, but we can't get into this because I'll start. Um, of it, There's just symbols of people as the greatest this symbolizing Jesus so he outran in in the rain so there is another rain there's another rain <clears throat> Elijah was so powerful Elijah was so faithful to God he was so faith filled that he knew the power of his prayers do we know the power of our prayers? Do we have faith on that level to know that God is going to respond? Do we expect God to respond? Let's go to the other rain. The other rain can be found in Revelation. Let me get... Okay. There is a another rain. Give me a second. Okay. We're going into Revelation 20. We are going, um, that's Revelation 20. Okay, Revelation 20. That's what this thing, that's what Google said. So, Revelation 20, verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, 
having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain, yeah, it, it, it should be in this, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till why why only a thousand till till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loose a little season and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their forehead or in their hands and they lived and reigned and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years they reign with Christ a thousand years I mean they reigned with him in the name of Jesus and so there is another reign there is another reign the reign of Jesus Christ there's another yes so hey man I'm spelling this wrong give me a second there is another so let's go to um, so okay so he reigned a thousand years I'll go back through that verse uh, Revelation 20 and I saw the thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus the Lord the Word of God and for the Word of God and which had not worshiped the beast neither his image nor had received his mark upon their forehead or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection this is the first resurrection this is the first resurrection it doesn't say this is the resurrection they said this is the first resurrection um, blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first okay let's go back verse 5 of Revelation 20 but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection blessed and holy is he or they that have part in the first resurrection you are not blessed and holy if you don't have part in the first resurrection on such the second death have no power but they shall be priest of god and of christ and shall reign with him a thousand years in the name of jesus and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together in battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the bread of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and in the beloved city which is also a church and fire came down from god out of heaven and devoured them and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are 
and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay. And I saw a great white throne in him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. My Lord. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works, right? And the sea gave up her dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. There is no person missing. I don't care how evil somebody is and they try to bury somebody and hide them. There's no person missing because at this time, everything that's dead has to be delivered up. It says, in the sea give up uh, the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man according to their works, and death and hell was cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So I'm going to close with 2 Timothy. That was Revelation 20. So 2 Timothy says here, okay, starting in verse 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of of life which is in Christ Jesus the Lord the Word of God I thank God whom I serve from my forefathers with a pure conscience that without ceasing I have remembrance of you in my prayers night and day greatly desiring to see you being mindful of your tears that I may be filled with joy when I call to remembrance the unformed faith that is in you which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in you also. Wherefore, I put you in remembrance that you stir up the gift of God, which is in you, by the putting on of my hands. For God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. Lord, I declare sound mind in the name of Jesus. But not you, therefore, no, sorry, be not you, therefore, ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be you partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who have saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to our purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus, the Lord, the word of God, before the world began, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord, the Word of God, who, the Lord, Jesus, the Word of God, have abolished death and have brought life in immortality to light through the gospel, through the Word of God, wherein too I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles, which the for the which for the gentiles cause i also suffer these things N uh, nevertheless i am not ashamed for i know whom i have believed in the name of jesus and am persuaded that he the lord is able to keep that which i have committed unto him against that day hold fast the form of sound words the word of god which you have heard of me, the word of God, in faith, in love, which is in Christ Jesus, the Lord, the word of God, that good thing which was committed unto you, keep by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, which dwells, the Holy Ghost dwells in us. This you know, that all they which are in Asia be turned away from you, from me. Um, I'll read that again. This thou knows that all uh, they which are in Asia, we don't know really which Asia he's actually talking about. 
okay it says because god is spiritual okay um be turned away from me of whom are Phagalus and Her Hermogenes, Hermogenes, the Lord give mercy unto the house of Oniferous, for he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me. The Lord grant unto him that he may find mercy of the Lord in the in that day and in how many things he ministered unto me at Ephesus thou knows skipping unto um, to verse uh, mm, verse 7 of 2 Timothy 2 I was supposed to be in 2 Timothy 2 in the first place but verse 7 consider what I say and the Lord give you understanding in all things in the name of Jesus. Remember that Jesus Christ, the Lord, the word of God of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even until the bonds. But the word of God is not bound. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus, the word of God, the Lord, uh, with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying. For if we be dead with Jesus, with the Lord, with him, we shall also live with him, the Lord Jesus, the word of God. If we suffer, we shall also reign. If we suffer with him. It says, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. And that will be two deaths, the second death. If we believe not, yet he, the Lord Jesus, the word of God abides faithful. The word of God, the Lord Jesus, cannot deny himself, cannot deny the word. So I send a word of God to the people of God, to the ears of God, to the hearts of men. It's great to have a rain outside so the earth can drink up and rejoice. But it's better to reign with him. It's better to reign with the Lord. The latter rain is greater than the former. That's true. And I pray that's the latter rain. To reign with Christ in God. In Jesus' name, you have a blessed one. Worship God in Jesus' name. Peace.